Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I would like to thank you, to thank the organizers for the invitation. And I would like to share our experience of uh, using these titanic measures. Uh, I would like to say that uh, orthopedics means quite vast resection. Subsequently, when you correct the defect, after you place the implant, you need to provide the joint function. And for this purpose, we use completely different options of reconstructive uh, methods and surgeries, or reconstructive devices, rather, such as polymers, as well as different implants, like Lafsan or some other bio materials, resorb, uh, which uh, are absorbable or not. And we uh, used fixation completely of completely different make. It would depend on the uh, manufacturer. So using this method resulted in the use of titanic silk mesh. This is the uh, device that we used in our surg surgical uh, in our surgeries, and we decided to continue using it in uh, total replacement of. Uh, hip, then also uh, total replacement of um, the knee and surfaces of the long tubular bones. When it comes to the uh, hip, total replacement of the hip, we uh, collected cases starting from 2014 to 2020, uh, all in all 55 cases. We uh, selected patients in two groups of comparison. 29 patients uh, mm, where we used polymer mesh and 26, uh, in 26 cases we used um, titan mesh. To um, analyze the functional outcomes, we used uh, different scales like MSDS and Harris scale. Uh, we uh, assessed in 6 and 12 months and we did not receive any statistically significant difference, which allowed us to come to the conclusion that titanic mesh works as well as polymer. But in the group where polymer meshes were used, in 29 cases we detected seromas which were formed in the diaphyses of uh, the implant. And as a matter of fact, these were just uh, fluid accumulation which impeded integration of the soft tissue and statistically impeded the uh, function restoration in this group of patients. Subsequently, we also uh, conducted a statistical analysis and we received statistically significant differences in terms of using polymer and titanic meshes, which allowed us to come to the conclusion that the titanic meshes uh, can prevent seromas. Our practice also in the knee joint, our period of, uh, of, our period of application is uh, 2017 to 2021. So we restored uh, extension mechanism in uh, 23 patients and we followed up 17 out of them with the mean follow up period of 28 months. At the moment, we have not seen a single complication that the follow-up period is uh, minute. We understand that the proximal uh, tibial bone is quite um, a problematic area from the viewpoint of long-term complications. So at the moment, we are still waiting for um, complications, um, especially the infectious ones. The uh, mean results of MSDS uh, scale at six months is 88%. So clinical example of a patient, uh, 57 years of age, um, the patient was referred to us. Uh, she had significant contracture, deformity of the limb, and we took the decision to <clears throat> uh, resort to surgery immediately without preoperative denosumab course. So this is a titanic mesh, uh, which we used after the a total knee replacement and restoration of the extension mechanism. So this is the uh, period of uh, follow-up, four years. This is the functional outcome within four years after surgery. This is active extension, complete extension without 
loss of effective function from the viewpoint of extension mechanism. And as you can see, this patient also um, usually have uh, problems with the patella and uh, uh, the extension ligaments. So this is using the titanic mesh in the uh, uh, reconstruction of diaphyses after the shoulder resection. I mean, uh, uh, period of observation is um, 11 months, uh, no mechanical, mechanical complication, or 26 months, excuse me. Uh, one infectious complication, uh, infectious complications also were not there. Local relapse, one patient, the, the uh, diagnosis uh, was benign, uh, malformation immediately, but after radical um, surgery, there was no um, preoperative chemotherapy, and subsequently uh, uh, there was malignization. A clinical example of a primary malignant tumor, Gimonke uh, endothelioma, 57 years of age, uh, the patient is uh, female. Um, now you can see surgical correction, and after that, uh, titanic mesh with uh, sutured muscles and deltoid muscle also uh, was fixed. And now you can see the functional outcome in six months post surgically. Uh, so comparing again polymer and, and titanic mesh, we um, paid attention to the following aspects. First of all, this is the cost of implant. The polymer is much costly than the titanic. The opportunity of sterilize it if uh, we look at the label for polymer phase, um, there is a phrase that it is not recommended to sterilize it, to re-sterilize, uh, although it is usually extensive length and we uh, could use it several times, but um, we are restricted and limited by the label. But the titanic mesh uh, gives us an opportunity to re-sterilize it several times. Subsequently, uh, we have good functional outcomes in both systems, in both uh, reconstructive uh, techniques. The negative aspect of polymer cells is, first, is also formation of seromas, which I talked earlier about. And in, in the titanic mesh patients, we didn't observe anything like that. Also, a polymer mesh can be used to reconstruct the um, um, joint capsule, but it cannot be used in the uh, uh, in the knee joint, for example, and in polymers uh, mesh, it is much more quoted in literature sources, much more researched. Uh, but our modest observation, although they are optimistic, uh, nonetheless, we need much better sampling. In conclusion, I would like to say that the titanic mesh and use of it as additional fixation of implants demonstrated very good properties in different anatomic localizations. So receiving the result that we received is comparable to the polymer meshes. We received good functional outcomes in within six months of follow-up post-surgically. And titanic meshes can be used in routine clinical practice, but we need much better sampling in the future. Thank you very much for your attention.